In this video, we will try to solve a numerical that was asked in Gate Economics paper of 2021. The question is, an upstream paper mill dumps effluents in a river. The total cost, sorry, the total benefits and total costs to the mill are, that is total benefit is given as 120Q minus Q square and total costs are given as 20Q respectively, where Q is the amount of output it produces the environmental cost due to the negative externality is given as that is environmental costs are given as q square the government wants to impose production tax of t per unit on the mill the value of t that is the tax to achieve socially optimal level of production is the options are 6 25 50 and 70 so we will see what is the correct option First of all, we will see what is given to us. We are given the total benefit. That is total benefit is given as 120Q minus Q square. Also, uh, total cost is given as, this is our total cost. Total cost is given as 20Q and uh, environmental cost is given as, that is equal to Q square okay now from total benefit uh, curve we can find the marginal private benefit curve which is simply the derivative of this total benefit function so the derivative of 120 Q with respect to Q would be 120 that is the derivative of Q is 1 here minus the derivative of Q square is 20 Q here Similarly, we have the total cost is given as 20Q, that means our marginal private cost is equal to the derivative of this total cost, okay? The derivative of Q is simply 1, so this is 20 into 1 is equal to 20, and we are also given the environmental cost, which is equal to Q square, and we will uh, derive it later, okay? Now, since this is our marginal private benefit, this is marginal private cost, so we can uh, we can show it graphically. Here the intercept is 120, this is our demand curve. This is also called the demand curve, which is equal to which is equal to marginal private benefit curve here and which is also equal to marginal social benefit curve okay marginal social benefit curve okay also marginal private cost is 20 this is our marginal private cost which is 20 in this case this mpc is our supply curve in this case so i can show it this is our marginal uh, private cost curve which is the supply curve so i will write this is our supply curve which is also uh, called marginal private cost so i will write here this is marginal private cost curve also okay now first of all we will see the intersection of these two points will give us the optimal output so at equilibrium at equilibrium uh, equilibrium marginal uh, private benefit which is demand is equal to marginal private cost so solving this will give us that is 120 120 minus 2 q is equal to 20 which implies our q would be equal to transposing this will become 120 minus 20 which is equal to 100 and 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 so our optimal output would be 50 here so this is our 50 units this is quantity axis this is price axis and our intercept is 120 here okay uh, we have uh, equated them at the intersection of demand and supply in this case our equilibrium output comes out to be 50 now uh, what will we do we will uh, derive the marginal 
external cost our uh, total external cost is given as that is external cost is given as q square that means our marginal external cost is equal to the derivative of the external cost that is the derivative of q square is twice q now uh, since uh, there is the environmental cost of q square which is written here that means now effluentus uh, in a river will damage it causing uh, the cost to the society that is firms will supply according to their private costs which is this marginal private cost uh, without regard uh, to the damage uh, caused to the river since this external effect or external cost is ignored a uh, firm tend to under uh, under charge that is here 20 uh, at a price of 20 under charge and our produce and this leads to allocatively inefficiency in this situation because of the external costs so now for that we need to derive the marginal social cost now marginal social cost is simply equal to marginal private cost plus marginal economic uh, sorry environmental cost which would be equal to here marginal private cost is we have calculated this is equal to 20 plus our marginal economic uh, sorry uh, uh, environmental cost is 2q okay so this is our marginal social cost that means our supply uh, curve uh, would uh, look like this this is our new supply curve okay which is the marginal social cost which is the combination of the marginal private cost and the marginal external cost in this case so what will we do uh, in this case uh, here we can see currently uh, 50 units are sold this is our old equilibrium now this uh, social uh, efficient quantity can be found by uh, that is the social efficient quantity can be found by setting marginal social cost uh, equal to the marginal social benefit that is uh, uh, social i will write here uh, socially uh, efficient uh, quantity quantity can be found by can be found by setting uh, setting marginal social benefit equal to marginal social cost that means our marginal social benefit go this is also called the marginal social benefit uh, which is the marginal private be benefit in this case so we have calculated it this is 120 minus 2q and we will equate it with this marginal social cost our marginal social cost is this very function that is 20 plus 2q when solving this will become 2 um, minus 2 will go on the rhs this will become 4q is equal to 120 minus 20 that is equal to 100 which implies q is equal to 4 ones are 4 25 is are okay so at this new equilibrium at this new equilibrium quantity produced would be equal to 25 that is at the uh, society at the socially uh, socially efficient uh, equilibrium the quantity produced would be 25 or supplied uh, 25 now uh, now the socially optimum efficient quantity can be attained by taking the or rather by taxing the firm and an amount equal to marginal external cost that is i will write here socially uh, socially optimum optimum efficient efficient quantity quantity can be found 
bound or rather can be attained can be attained attained by taxing uh, taxing the firm or mill in this case an amount equal to equal to marginal environmental cost now our marginal environmental cost marginal environmental cost is we have calculated somewhere here this is our marginal in environmental cost marginal environmental cost is equal to at uh, socially optimal output that is 25 we will evaluate it so this is 2 into q our new q is that is qs at socially optimal level that is equal to 2 into we have calculated this is equal to 25 that means that means 50 per unit per unit so that firm will now consider uh, the external effects when determining their output level okay so uh, in this case we can see a firm producing a negative externality would pay uh, its marginal private cost plus the ex negative externality neg negative externality tax in this case uh, we have calculated this is equal to 50 per unit and would thus reduce the production uh, to the socially optimal level of output since it would be paying for the damage caused to the others in this case to the river okay this tax internalizes the externality and removes the inefficiency of the negative externality okay so i will repeat we were given the total benefit and total cost functions and also the environmental cost function and we were told to find the uh, tax rate uh, which will achieve socially optimal output level of production so first we took the total benefit curve total benefit curve from that we found the marginal private benefit function by taking the derivative of the total benefit curve similarly total cost function was given from that we uh, derived the marginal private cost at equilibrium marginal private benefit would be equal to marginal private cost and these are the demand and supply functions okay and these two are this is the demand function and this is the supply function in this case when equating them we got q is equal to 50 that is at competitive level uh, we got uh, q is equal to 50 but uh, and since the effluents in the river will damage uh, the environment so it will cost the society firm will supply according to their private costs without regard to the damage caused to the river since this external effect or external cost is ignored firm tend to undercharge uh, undercharge uh, and our produce we can see here it is our uh, our producing and this will lead to the allocatively uh, allocative inefficiency okay and now uh, to compensate for that uh, to compensate for there we will derive the marginal social cost which is the aggregate of the marginal private cost plus marginal external uh, sorry marginal environmental cost which is equal to 20 plus 2q 20 was our marginal private cost and 2q was our marginal environmental cost which we have computed from the total in uh, total uh, external cost sorry now social uh, socially efficient quantity can be found by setting marginal social benefit that is our marginal social benefit curve equal to the marginal social cost curve when computing we get qs that is the quantity supplied at socially optimal level is equal to 25 okay now socially optimal efficient quantity can be attained by taxing uh, the mill and amount equal to the marginal environmental or external cost which is equal to 2 into qs that is 2 into qs which is equal to 2 into 25 which comes out to be 
50 per unit so the firm will now consider the external effectors uh, when determining the output level i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you